If you're in trouble today, my message is not so kind. This is hard talk, not happy talk. I am I the biggest target for careers? Yeah. I have problems, but I'm making money, more money than ever before. Look, let me give you my health problems here, you know. I've had pneumonia three times. I've had malaria. I've had open heart surgery. I've had cancer. Now, that's the bad news. You know what the good news is? I'm aware I had to become healthier. I don't want some vaccine to protect me. It's my responsibility to protect myself. So that's all it is to me. Now, if you're in trouble today, my message is not so kind. This is hard talk, not happy talk. The crisis is in your head. Now that's the bad news. The good news, you can change the crisis by changing what's inside your head. And so I'm doing extremely well financially today because as I was warning everybody, this crisis was coming. But it would be irresponsible of me to warn people of the crisis and not personally make changes myself. So right. the good news is the crisis is in your head. The bad news, it's in your head. <laughs> health is mental, emotional health, spiritual health, and then physical health. So I spend a lot of money and time on my mental health, my emotional health, my spiritual health, and my physical health. And the average person goes to their doctor once a year for an annual checkup. That's not health, that's called medicine. So the, this is my biggest complaint. Who determines our medicine is the insurance companies, some of the biggest financial institutions in the world. So the average person, because they have no wealth, can't afford my health care. They can't afford my, you know, the physician I see is 5,000 a visit. And if you have health insurance, they won't see you. So that's health care and wealth care. So if you're still thinking your physician is going to save you, that's old thinking. If you think that you spiritually can do what you don't like, that's old thinking. You know, in job security and all that's old thinking. If you think this is a bad time, guess what? You're right, it's bad. But if you think this is the possibly the best time for you, you can move forward. I have problems, but I'm making money, more money than ever before. But if you have it, if you're losing money right now, the problem starts in what you were taught in school. Because they never taught you anything about money. They never taught you about a financial statement, like my rich dad did. They teach you that diploma is everything. It's a piece of toilet paper. The harder you work for money, the poorer you're gonna get. That's the tragedy. So, the, so this is how what Fuller talked about, the prison is inside our head, Buckminster Fuller. It starts with misinformation and misorientation. And he says, how dare our schools punish kids for making mistakes? How else do you learn if you don't make a mistake and learn from your mistake? He says, God designed us to learn by making mistakes. My message is, this is metamorphosis type. Financial education in Rich Dad's terms is really financial transformation. If you're struggling financially, just think of yourself as a little caterpillar. And this crisis is your cocoon. The question is, what do you emerge as? Do you emerge as a victim? You know, the world did that to me and the, the capitalists are crook, the rich are bastards and all this stuff. Or do you say, oh, this is the best thing that ever happened to me. You're either gonna get healthier and wealthier or you're gonna go bust. Your choice. It sits between your ears, your heart, your body, your mind, your spirit, your attitude. This could be the best thing that ever happened to you, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, if you turn out to a butterfly or somebody will step on you like a little worm. <laughs> it's your choice. That's where the choice, the metamorphosis, the evolution or the transformation from an immature form yeah, mommy and daddy are going to take care of me. Mommy and daddy are going to pay for my education. The government's going to give me social security. I have a 401k. My employer's a toll. You know, da 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 da. You're going to evolve from that into an adult. That's metamorphosis. Right. If you grow up mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, financially, and health wise, voila, this is the best thing that happened to me. Prison is inside our brains. But many people, this crisis and the ensuing depression that we're going into 
is your wake up call or you're gonna be a victim and somebody's gonna step on you that the little worm you are because you didn't metamorphosize. That was my poor dad. He hid behind his diploma. Whereas my rich dad, a man with no education, had a financial statement. The financial statement is show me the money, show me how smart you are. So if I'm okay today is I can prove I know what I'm talking about. Doesn't mean I don't have problems because every problem makes me stronger. But if you can have that attitude, improve your financial education, you'll do fine. This will be the best thing that ever happened to you. If not, this is the worst thing that's happened to you. I, am I the biggest target for virus? Yeah. But as, as Dirty Harry said, make my day. Am I going to cry? No. What am I going to do? I can't change them, but I can change me. That's my attitude. Wake up is my message.